children i am preeti kumar welcome to the online computer class before we start let us close our eyes and observe 2 minute silence to pray for the peace within and outside and also pray for everyone's well being let's get started children today we are going to learn about tools of word processor children in the previous class you were familiarized with one of the popular word processors ms word you learn that a word processor helps in storing formatting or manipulating the text document such as a letter report etc it provides different tools for selecting copying moving deleting and printing the text after discussing the basic features of word processor let us enhance our knowledge about its other features in this chapter besides this we will also focus on some shortcut keys associated with different functions and tools of word processor so let us take a quick review of word processor microsoft word is an application software used for word processing it was introduced by microsoft corporation one of the world's largest companies in software development microsoft word has the power and flexibility to produce letters reports notices newsletters books bills etc quickly and in presentable manner modify the text both while typing and after typing if you need to change something if you want to make a modification in your text after saving or before while working you can use this facility modifying the text in your word processing document beautify the text using color style font size border shading and various other effects insert graphics and make use of various drawing tools to draw pictures if you need to install upload some picture in your ms uh, document ms word document so you can do it very easily copy and move the text from one location to another preview the text before printing it if you need to take out the print out of your work so you can have a facility of previewing them uh, previewing it and you can see how your output will come on the paper you even you can take multiple print outs of the same document also so this way i hope children all of you understood the features of ms word now let us revise how to open ms word application so how you can open just click on the start button on the taskbar then go to all programs and find where is microsoft office here it is now choose ms office ms word from all programs Microsoft Word 2010, Microsoft 2007, Microsoft 2013, whatever version you are using, you can choose. Then it will ask you about this blank document. Click on it, and you will get this screen on your desktop. So this is a MS Word application. 
application. The word application opens a blank document with the temporary name document1. On the title bar you can see the children. By default it always gives the temporary name document1 and also it, it is showing word here it shows in which application you are working. So we are working in MS Word. So the on the title bar you will get the document name and application name. Under that you will get one ribbon and this ribbon just below the title bar you get this. The ribbon contains several tabs on it such as file, home, insert, design, page, layout etc. Each tab is divided into groups and each group has a set of related commands. So you can see this is a home tab and it has many groups like clipboard, font, paragraph, styles, editing and each group is having different set of programs like if I am choosing this clipboard so you can see related to this paste, cut, copy and format painter is there. So and you see this blank white page here, white page here. So this is a working area. This is known as working area where you can enter your text. Once the new document is you open, you can start typing in the document using the keyboard. While typing, you do not press the enter key when the when you reach the end of the line we keep on typing the text you will find the cursor automatically gets shifted to the next line this feature of the word is called word wrap so children i am typing text here so just see how the word wrap happens so i am typing knowledge Let me uh, make the font big. You, it can be visible to you. Knowledge is information it is a potential R as soon as I typed here, started typing here, power. So you see, when I added E, automatically this word shifted in the next line. So, wrapping the text means that if the text does not fit in the current line, then it gets shifted to the next line. Let uh, all of you please observe again I am going to complete this sentence only when it is acted on it upon learning is I have not given space here that is why this red line is coming learning then I will continue with the text learning is like see as soon as I started writing like it was not able to fit there so it is automatically shifted in the next line so this is called wrapping the text or you can say Word wrap eating food. So, I hope, children, all of you understand this. So, please practice and see how you can use Word MS Word document. Here, children, now here, when I have typed this, I want to save my work. 
so using file tab i am going to save my work so as soon as i click on save as because whenever you save your file for the first time you use the option save as save as and then it will ask me where you want to save so i'll save in the document and you see the dialog box save as will appear here you can give your file name whatever you want you can type the file name suppose i'll type here chapter i will type here tools i'm going to give the name to this file document as a tools so i'll click on save now so you see on the title bar document 1 is replaced by tools now this document name is or file name is tools now i will close the document so i hope all of you understood children so this way you please practice dear students as we have reached towards the end to the day of today's class so now let us all observe 2 minute silence for the peace within and outside and for everyone's well being